Match is tied right now, as I indicated. Two battle stars captured by each of our players, but Jan Dugan has a chance to capture Jerry Seinfeld and Nell Carter right now. Who gets the question, my dear? Jerry. All righty. Okay. Let's not blow it. Jerry, go is ahead. Ronald Reagan right or left-handed? Aha. A good question for a guy like me. Because I am left-handed, and I know a lot about it. The, the word left itself is associated with negative things. Leftovers, they're terrible. Two left feet, left-handed compliment. On television, you ever see a crook named Righty? <laughs> you go to a party, there's nobody there. Where'd everybody go? They left. It's always negative things. But Ronald Reagan, you know, it has to do with whether you think in words or pictures. He thinks in words. He's right-handed. Jan, this is for the match. Right or wrong answer. Correct or incorrect. Jerry's right. You're the new Battle Stars champion. That is the right answer. The person is right hand. Red Ryan. John Quinlan, our retiring champion, leaving us with $5,250. Back to the airlines business. You were a good player and a lot of fun. Thank, Thank you for joining. I enjoyed it. Stay right there. Jan, you join me up here, if you will. Because you're going to get your first shot at winning $5,000. What's the picture round? What have you got in there? Some glasses in you case I can't see this. Okay, can you see all those numbers on the Let's monitor in front of you? Glasses. Put the glasses on. That's it. Listen, with $5,000 at stake, you wear anything you want. Okay. Oh, yeah, there are numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you decided to put them on. Pick three. All right. Good girl. Now we go into the decoding machine, and we come up with, first of all, number three. On the monitor in front of you. Number 12 is next. Now we have number one. And of course, we give you your choice of any of the remaining numbers, Jan, the one you think that will be most helpful in identifying this personality. What do you want to see? Number four. Okay. <clears throat> For $5,000, Jan Dugan, who is this? Jack Ritter. We know him as John Ritter, John but Ritter. that's worth $5,000 in... <laughs> Jenny Lee, I want to ask you a question, Jenny Lee. Yeah. You worked with John now for a few years. Do you call him Jack? Do you know him well enough to call him Jack? <laughs> I do know him well enough, but I, I, I thought it was Muhammad Ali. <laughs> you thought John Ritter was Muhammad Ali? From those three first squares, oh, yes. So Jan obviously knows him very, very well indeed, and it paid off. Those things do pay off eventually. $5,000 in cash for the champion. We're going to take a break. We will return with more of our show. That is the new player. Ready, kids? Ready, Peggy. Okay, find the trident. He's throwing trident into the pool? Mm-hmm. Trident's new fresh pack is airtight to seal in flavor. Trident! Mmm, it is fresh. And soft. And see, four out of five dentists serve they recommend sugarless scum for their patients who chew gum. Peggy, did you have to jump in the pool to get some Trident? <laughs> trident guarantees freshness. Recommended by moms like me who care about teeth. Miss Morrow, I need a fashion exclusive for the store newsletter. Stop the presses. New Beautiful Ones bras from Playtex Cross Your Heart are now beautifully seamless. Delicate. Lacy, I'd never get dressed. That would be a story. And new Seamless Beautiful Ones lifts and separates for a better figure. Wow. <laughs> May I quote you? Oh. New seamless beautiful ones bras from Playtex Cross Your Heart. Special introductory price only $8.99. For a moist, super moist cake, Creamy Deluxe is the only frosting that's good enough. Because it's buttercream creamy. We did it! Bake someone happy. You and Betty Crocker can. The buttercream creaminess of Creamy Deluxe. It's the only way to frost the incredible moistness of a super moist cake. You and Betty Crocker can we did it. make someone happy. Mmm, what helped her hamburger taste this good? Hamburger Helper. Helped her hamburger. Mmm, -hmm. Hamburger Helper, helped her hamburger helper. Hamburger Helper helps her make a great meal, like our cheeseburger macaroni. Just add it to hamburger and make a saucy, savory supper from hearty elbow macaroni and tangy cheddar cheese. Kids gonna love it. Mm -hmm. Dad 
that will do. Mm -mm. Hamburger helper, helper, hamburger helper, make a great deal. Our airline's pilot has left us, John Quinlan, and we're happy to welcome, as a new challenger, new player to Battlestars, a flight attendant. This is Dee Dee Klein. Hi, Hi Dee Dee. Hi, how are you? I'm well. Where are you from? Um, California, Los Angeles. And you fly out of L.A.? Mm hmm Okay. Hope you do well on the program. Oh, Jan well. has done fabulously well. Five grand, first shot. <laughs> Let's put the board in motion for her. Press the button. Get number one, up top to Charles Hayde. Are you new? I'm... You're new, right? She is new. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and that's all we're going to say about that one. That's right. Prince Charles, Charles. No, don't call me that. Okay. okay. <laughs> Prince Charles recently whispered into Diana's ear and said, they're playing our song. What were they playing? You're having my baby. You're the woman I love and I love, but you're doing it to me. You sing it well, too. I know I do. You're having my baby. Right or wrong, Jan? Charles is right. No, they were playing God Save the Queen. I just wanted to sing the song. I know. I'm sorry. All right, Dee Dee, an early opportunity for you. Let's see if you can make it pay off. Press the button. You'll get number four. That means we can go back to Charles with a question or go downstairs and visit with Debbie Reynolds. Uh, I'll go with Debbie. Okay. Why? I'm renewed. Debbie, you've just found out your husband's had an affair. Oh. And yet... <laughs> Question. Yes. <laughs> well, there, there's okay. more to it. Just, just go ahead. I'll, I'll be through with the pain in a minute. Just okay. go ahead. Yeah, you just found out your husband's had an affair, and yet you're not upset. No. According to Cosmo magazine, what does this indicate? The fact that you're not upset. You, that you're not upset? Yeah. Oh, my. I have to think about it. I, I don't want to have anyone miss this. Um, well, hmm, means you're truly a liberated woman. All right, Dee Dee, according to Cosmo and Debbie, is that a right or wrong answer? Um, I say Debbie's right. No, it means the marriage was already in trouble, oh, Debbie. Don't give me any questions about it. marriage. This whole thing. <laughs> We're back to Jan. I'm sorry. I... Press the button. Number three, Jerry. Excitement. Personified. <laughs> to a weatherman, Jerry, what blows hardest? A gale or a storm? These guys have no idea. The guys that do the weather have no idea about the weather. That's why they have <clears throat> all those maps. You know, it's, they show me constantly highs, lows, fronts. Then the most ridiculous part, the satellite photo. This is real helpful. <laughs> I mean, really, it's a photograph of the Earth from 10,000 miles away. Can you tell if you should take a sweater or not from that shot? <laughs> I just wanted to make that point. But now, to the question. Okay, if you were a weatherman and you were telling us which blows hardest, would you say a gale or a storm? Well, a storm is not a wind. It's a gale. Hmm? A Pick gale. <laughs> the gale. The gale. The gale blows harder. Gale storm. That's what I said. Gale storm. <laughs> he says the gale blows hardest. Harder than the storm. Right or wrong? I hope he's right. No, it's the storm. <laughs> it's right below a hurricane. Okay, we're back to Dee Dee. Press the button. Trick question. Number nine. Rip. I know. Debbie does know what she's talking about. <laughs> Who is Jose Napoleon Duarte? Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> Jose Napoleon Duarte. Is he in town? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> Jose Napoleon Duarte is the president of El Salvador. Right or wrong? Mira, Mira. Come on, Rip. I say he's right. Yes, he is. Mira, Mira. Oh, yay. Go again. Number seven. You How can take... Nell? How about Nell? Hi. Okay. What happened, Nell, when Moses struck a rock with his holy rod? Oh, God. Yeah, it's the biblical now. Wait. Just say it one more time. What happened when Moses struck a rock 
with his holy rod. Wait, let me think. Wait, because I know he did that, and then that happened, and then... Wait, you know the diff of these two questions when he did <laughs> that. I don't want to fool you, so I, um... Pick the one you think is right. You saw the Ten Commandments. He did that for the first part, and then he did that. I think, oh, water flowed. Water flowed. I think Nell's right. She is. Water <laughs> flowed from the rock when he struck it with his holy rod. Press again. Number six, it means you could capture Jerry oh, oh, Seinfeld. Okay, okay. All right, Jerry. Capture. It's this one capture. is for the first capture of the match. Oh, my. In a game of chess, in a game of chess, which piece cannot move backwards? I know chess. The pawn. Oh, I hope you know. I think you're right. He is right, and that's our first capture battle star, a red triangle lighting up. You're still in control, Dee Dee. Press it. You get number two, Jenny Lee. That's a you. Okay, come on. That's in a recent you? poll, yes. do the majority of fans think superstar pitcher Fernando Valenzuela should get a million dollars a year? In a recent poll, majority of fans. Baseball um, fans, obviously. Obviously. I think, of course, yes, because he's the most important player there, they feel. Dee -dee. Last year, he got underpaid. Right or wrong? Should I think a... she's wrong. You are correct. <gasps> Most of them said no. <laughs> You're still up, Dee. Press it again. Number eight. That's a Debbie. Oh, my stars. <laughs> and I'm, it's, I'm, I'm ready. It has nothing to do with marriages. Thank you very much, darling. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who made this famous statement? As God is my witness, oh. I'm never going to be hungry again. Yes. <laughs> Oliver Twist. Edie, right or wrong? I think that's a wrong answer. Scarlett right. O'Hara in Gone with the Wind is the right answer. I knew you'd know I was wrong. God. Edie, you're still up in five and ten are the only numbers that remain. You get five and you could be the new champion by capturing four of our stars on this question. Who gets it? Oh, um, Rip? Yes, baby. He's still hanging over all of the twists. <laughs> Rip. Don Ho. <laughs> Can you see this? It's beautiful. Okay. I'm sorry. Rip. I'll call you back. Stop it. Rip, think back to your last dinner party. You're chewing something distasteful. According to etiquette, what should you do? Drop her like a hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> what are we owing about? What's it, the gong show? <laughs> You're chewing something distasteful. According to etiquette, what should you do? <laughs> that looks rude. I think you ought to swallow it and just bear it. Like your pride. Oh. Edie, this is for Just the suffer match. for the, you know, why be rude? I would try that. I think I'd he's on airline. Oh, no, shoot. the other way is better. You remove it carefully. Airline food, I always swallow it. Me too. Uh, Jan, <laughs> toy big chance for you to get right back into this and reclaim the championship. Who gets the question? Um, Rip. Okay. Does Queen Elizabeth have a dog? Queen. Yeah, yeah, oh, sure. He says, yes, oh, sure. Sure. He should know. He, I think he's right. I don't know why sure. he should know, but it is the right answer, and you've got it. Four blue triangles, four stars for match. Four blue triangles, four stars for match. He's got a lot of them little corgi jobs over there. Dee Dee, you it gave it a good shot. I gave it a try. What does he know? <laughs> Rip, you notice how quickly she turned on you? Right on me. Yes. I hope uh, what you're telling us basically is you never want to have this man flying on your plane That's in the right. future. Right. Oh, okay. Well, we have we've got some lovely parting gifts for you backstage. Thanks you're a, a pretty girl, and you graced our show very nicely. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us on Battle Stars. We have to take a break, and the champion tries to pick up five thousand dollars more in the picture round. Are you a saltaholic? Do you think most everything needs salt? 
then you're a saltaholic. Like most Americans, you eat more than 20 times the salt your body needs. Now, with new No Salt, you can have the flavor of salt without salt. No Salt tastes like salt, but there's no salt in No Salt. You can shake No Salt, cook with No Salt, No Salt, and shake the salt habit. I say all toilet bowl cleaners are alike. Wrong. This powder cleanser works. My Santa Flush works better. A great formula. But I think... Stop. Wait. Let's settle it now. Blue bubbling germicidal Santa Flush starts instantly to release its cleaning power. What about stains? Santa Flush removes bottom of the bowl rust stains as no cleanser can. There is a difference. But what about germs? Santa Flush kills germs above and below the water. Well, from now on, it's Santa Flush. Germicidal Santa Flush works better. Look at those circles under my eyes. Couldn't sleep last night with a stuffy, achy cold. You should know about 6612. These help six symptoms. This one's six. But Dristan relieves 12? No way. Look, these help six symptoms. This one's six. But Dristan relieves nasal congestion, sneezing, runny nose. All 12 of these symptoms. All 12. You were right about Dristan. Made me feel better, so I got that sleep I needed. Tablets or capsules, Dristan relieves 12 cold symptoms. <laughs> What does Richard Burton reveal for the first time ever about his life and loves? Inquiring minds want to know. I want to know. What else besides drugs drove Belushi to the grave? This week's National Enquirer tells all. How can this simple plan reduce heart attack risk? Why are Russian ships encountering underwater UFOs? It's in the Enquirer. And what made Sally Field bounce from Bert to Beretta? Find out in the Enquirer. Over 100 features for people with inquiring minds. Like me. You're looking at our current Battle Stars champion, Jan Dugan, in the last time out. She couldn't see the monitor without her glasses. <laughs> she put the glasses on and won $5,000 just like that. Thank so you'd you. better wear them again. Check over the screen in front of you, 16 numbered squares, corresponding cards in my hand and <laughs> magnetically encoded. You took three in a bunch last time. You're going for two and one. Okay. Good luck. Into the machine. And we show you first number 11. Next, number 9. That's good. We're in the right part of the face. And number seven. What number do you want to see to help you in identifying this individual? Um, number four. Show her four. Hoping to see an eye. Well, you didn't get to see the eye, but for $5,000, who is it? Come on, Jan. John Wayne. John Wayne is wrong. <laughs> it's not John Wayne. That's the idea. Pick another card. You can now, if you don't know, go to any of our celebrities who cares to volunteer. Number 15, not usually very helpful, but in this case, uh, a bit of assistance. Anyone up there want to volunteer? Is anyone volunteering? So far, no one is volunteering, so oh, Jenny Lee thinks she might like to try it if you don't have an answer for us, Jan. You want to try it? I guess, but... Do you have a guess? I'll let Jenny Lee guess. Her, her incorrect guess is as good as yours. Yeah. Jenny Lee, who is it for 3,000? Is it the guy with the spaced out eyes, Marty Feldman? No. Nope. No? No. Nope. It was a guess. I told you it's a guess. Well, yeah, Were you going to say my fault. Fault. No, Were you going to say fault. Marty Feldman? Like no. All right, pick another card. Doesn't it look like him though? <laughs> Please. We haven't seen the eyes yet, yeah, and that the was eyes, it looks like the it. most important part of the description, according to you. Number fourteen is next. Ah, oh, oh, another helpful piece of the picture. So far, Jerry thinks he might have an answer up in that corner if just you don't. Just a guess. It's just a guess. He's uh, laying that out front. Now, do you want to try your guess? Well, I'm going to try my guess. Okay, what do you say? Uh, Jimmy Stewart? No. <laughs> oh, good, I feel better. Jerry, were you going to say Jimmy Stewart? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on the end. I don't like those others. Okay. Let's see what this one gives us. Number one, way to go. Gosh, oh, you're a good great. picker. <laughs> Jan Dugan is a great picker, isn't she? This is worth $1,000, this photograph. Mr. Potato. Picture is worth $1,000. <laughs> Nell thinks she might know. Now, Nell is usually pretty good at this, but there, there aren't that many important elements to this picture showing so far. That's no excuse, Nell. Oh. Tell us of all it's... Nope. Oh, well, what the do I know? <laughs> and you had all those squares to help you. <laughs> Tell you what. I bet pick you another so I said, number. Any one. Five. Show her number five. Picture's worth oh, five hundred dollars. Oh, oh, listen to oh, Nell. Oh, shit. I, I told you. Nell thinks she knows now, Jan. Do you know? I think I know. Too. Okay, wait a minute. Jan might want to do this by herself. <laughs> Go ahead, Jan. You guys have let her down so far. Jan? 
Maybe I should ask Nell. Yeah. <laughs> because you know if you guess incorrectly, Nell's going to never let you live it down. <laughs> no. David Niven. Yeah. You're right. $500 more. You are correct. You know, David Niven has been one of my idols for years, such a class actor, and I'll tell you, I used to watch him in so many movies and say, gosh, he looks just like Marty Feldman. <laughs> Please be seated, Jen, while I introduce... Wisecracker. <laughs> Thank you, you, Jenny Lee. We have to welcome to our show right now, ladies and gentlemen, a hotel gardener, father of two. He is vacationing from Las Vegas, Nevada. His name is John, or Jack Carter. Hello, John. Hello. How long are you going to be in town? Oh, about two weeks. Oh, it depends also on how well you do on the program, I imagine. Okay, good luck to you. Rip, you live in Las Vegas, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. I don't gamble. I'm taking a chance talking to you. Go ahead. Okay, Jen. <laughs> put your hand on the button. <laughs> Press it, and you get number 10, and that means we have Nell. Okay. Lawrence Welk says this activity is responsible for saving his life. What activity? Dancing. Right or wrong? Right. Nope. Golf, because it helps I'm him relax sorry, sorry. from the stress of his program. John, over to you. Press the button. You get number one, Charles Haig. If this is your job, you're more likely to get divorced than other people. What job is that, Charles? Acting. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, that's not one of the two no, answers on the monitor. Pick uh, one. The, the answer to that is uh, something I'm very familiar with, as a matter of fact. If you're a cop, if you're a policeman, they have a real big chance of being... Charles is one problem. of the stars of Hill Street Blues. I have to go with him, I agree. It's right answer, too. Policeman, yes, indeed. Hello. Hello. That wonderful sound means we'd better pause for a commercial and help pay the rent on the studio and some of the cash we give away, but we're coming back. If you're worried about stains on your dentures, don't have the cherry pie unless you have the cream. Dentu Cream. And don't have the coffee unless you have the cream. Dentu Cream. Dentu Cream's powerful anti-stain formula helps brush away tough stains. And its refreshing mint flavor leaves dentures clean and fresh. So don't have the berries unless you have the cream. Anti-stain formula, Dentu Cream. With refreshing mint. Want some excitement in your meatloaf? Meatloaf exciting? Puts my family to sleep. Wake them up. Get the Lipton onion soup mix. That's exciting. Soup with my meatloaf? No, put the soup mix in your meatloaf. You see, Lipton's delicious seasonings and toasted onions give your meatloaf recipe an excitingly different onion flavor. Hmm, what a great oniony? oniony flavor. What did you put in here? Just a little excitement. <laughs> <laughs> soup up your meatloaf with Lipton. Well, that's it for today, folks. Not enough time to uh, continue the match, but Jenny Lee, we've just had two telephone calls, one from David Niven's agent and the other from Marty Feldman's. Both of them wish to talk to you for some reason. Can you handle it? Yeah. I can handle it. Yes, she can. Give him my can. home phone number, please. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. We've got to follow up on that. See you next time out on Battlestar. After all six triangles, we'll spend two weeks in Mexico. We'll fly you and the guests from Los Angeles to colorful Mexico City via Western Airlines' wide-body DC-10 spaceship featuring Fiesta flight service furnished by Western Airlines, including a week's stay in Mexico City at the Maria Isabel Sheraton. Close to many great attractions, this elegant hotel offers nightlife and the real excitement of Mexico, furnished by Maria Isabel Sheraton. A representative of our studio audience will receive a tap and electric kitchen, which includes the big side-by-side -side two door refrigerator freezer, a practical work saving built-in dishwasher, the complete cooking center features a full-size microwave oven at the top, and a self-cleaning microwave oven below, furnished by Tap and Appliances. Today's party contestants will receive easy to use 12-inch pre-pasted wall covering squares dipped in the water, slip into place, tough washable flare squares and 24 colorful patterns. And Lipton iced tea in the winter, why not, says Don Meredith. You drink other cold drinks in the winter, why not Lipton iced tea made from tea bags, dandy taste. And plus, Blue Luster home care products, Blue Luster dryer, the new poster cleaner for velvets and other big, delicate furniture subscribers. Also, hooray for Raisinets. Now you can enjoy the all-time favorite movie candy at home, Goobers and snow caps too. Hooray for Raisinets. And Pilot's precise ball liner, the never squash, extra fine rolling 
ball pen with the stainless steel needle light collar it revolutionizes thin writing. Plus, new creamy deluxe chocolate chip frosting. Smooth, creamy, full frosty chocolate chips. The chocolate chip way you and Betty Crocker can bake someone happy. Any farting contestant winning no cash will receive Samsonite Furniture's Eloquent Expressions, a collection of folding furniture in designer styles and contemporary colors. Eloquent Expressions, furnished by Samsonite Furniture. Tomorrow, get set for a 90-minute look at some of the most extraordinary moments on real people. Then when Blair reads Natalie's diary, she's in for a shock. It's the facts of life at a special time, 9.30, 8.30 Central and Mountain. And on Quincy, a woman undergoing therapy witnesses a murder, but only Quincy believes her. All tomorrow on NBC.